how it do. Now that I have shattered your eardrums. <laughs> uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring with, uh, with just a torch. Uh, last I recall, it's not going very well. I don't remember, though. Uh, fuck. It's not even on... So we'll get out of that. Go. Cool. And play the desktop audio. Probably turn it down just a little bit. Is it possible that... Oh, that might be too loud. Um... The audio hasn't been, like, overpowering my voice, right? <laughs> right? There's no way. Huh? Well, yeah, it's a torch. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's just a torch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Do I go ahead and pump this to like 22? Or do I get this to 17? Ooh, I don't know. That just adds 12 damage total. This adds 2, 5, 11. So upgrading this actually helps. That'll also bump it to... Okay, just the magic damage on this thing will be... Two twenty-two, I think is what that comes out to. Two twenty-two plus one hundred and seven brings it up to three hundred and twenty-nine. There's this, which already is past that, but also. Oh. I didn't look where to get more sixes. I forgot. Who's texting me? I don't really know what to do here. Well, it doesn't matter which one I go for, I still need 12 more smithing stones to get both of them. So I'm going to need to do it anyway. But if I do, oh, if I do this one now. I can go ahead and get this thing boosted to like plus 22, I think. Hold on. Because I only have six smithing stone sixes. I have 19 of these. I only need 12. I'll have seven. Uh, meaning I'd need five more. Yeah, I could get it to plus 22. Which might be the play. Because... Okay, so I'm about to be dealing oh, I'm about to be dealing with Morgoth. That's the next main boss. Okay, I'm going to bite the bullet. I was trying not to do this on stream. But 
but I need to know where to find smithing stone sixes. I thought a lot of them were in Lane Dell, but there's not a whole lot there. Three obtained at Zaymor Ruins. Can't get there yet. Nuxtella. Nuxtella. Lane Dell Royal Capital. Lane Dell Royal Capital. Grand Cloister. Five dropped by the full grown Falling Star Beast. Okay. So if I can beat that guy. Castle Soul, Lane Dell, Lane Dell, Lane Dell, Volcano Manor, Volcano Manor. Volcano Manor. So. There are a bunch in the Volcano Manor. Hallig Tree. And those three in the sealed tunnel that I already got. Okay. I think right now the play is to go for the regular torch. And use it to find the rest of them. For now, let's do away with this. Oh, is there any reason to do away with that? Yeah, sure, that looks fine. Okay. So now that this is up to plus 21... I need to find more sixes and sevens. This thing's damage is, yep, 421, okay. That's a significant upgrade. Over the other, so I was looking at Volcano Manor, Lane Dell, Nuxtella, The Falling Star Beast, that's right. Okay. Let's try that first. Dude, my group chat is like blowing up right now. Alright, me. I think allowing just the Mimic tier is probably, like, the most perfectly balanced way of, of doing this. Because, like, this is going to be nearly impossible without summons. But it's still not going to be a very good summon. Ow. Oh, that didn't deal much damage. Oh, no, I don't think this thing cares about fire. Get up. What? Oh. Oh, I think it's chasing after me instead of I. Punish that. You should have punished I, but instead you went for me. That will be your downfall. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. Right, I can't actually have that. Well... <laughs> 
we'll just punch it in the face, I guess. I saw it coming, but the stupid quick turn took too long. Okay, would you stop doing that? Well, oh, me's dead. Okay. At least it's like right here. I did not. So that time it went that far. Did I sp pick up the spell Drake Talisman? Because some magic defense would be nice right now. Damn it. Uh huh. Again? Stop it. God, I deal no damage to this thing. Me's dead. All right, would you die, dude? Did not need that heal. Get up. not raining so it's fire defense isn't boosted it literally just has like a ridiculous amount of fire defense I guess because I know it's weak to strike so basically all the damage I'm dealing to it is strike damage it, it has to be because it is weak to strike Can't see anything. I'm just fucked.
for a build that prioritizes so much strike damage, I don't feel like this should be this much of a problem. What? What hit me? I also want to point it out that I got stuck on nothing for a second. <sighs> okay. What are this thing's defenses like? versus all physical damage immune to frostbite so the other torch would be worthless I think the wiki for it is not updated okay So I have to assume that it's just it's highly resistant to fire damage, because it is not the strike damage that it's resisting. Okay, what about this? And he still has the turtle, that's fine. to hit it in the face to deal any meaningful damage. Don't even worry about hitting its body. Its face is the only thing that'll do anything for me. Okay, but its face is, like, impossible to get to. What about its ass? Its ass is made of the same stuff. Okay. Oh. Me's just getting railed here. even hit the fucking thing in its face. Yep, me's dead. All because I'm trying to deal any meaningful damage to this. Oh, good. I'm just tanking that, I think. Oh no, I got out of it. I think I got it in the face. Alright, what is happening? Okay. What about its ass? Okay, its ass is taking a little bit of damage.
Yeah, I wasn't getting out of that. Maybe my thing help didn't help. Get up! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Are you... Are you kidding me? I got hit by every part of that. Get out of here, okay. Oh, oh, it is raining. Okay. What's the fucking five smithing stone sixes? Yeah, it's not a level. <laughs> what is this crater? I don't think I've ever noticed that. So I could go and get one buff on the magic torch. I don't know that that's entirely worthwhile, but I could do it. Like, this torch is just buffed so far beyond that at this point. When this whole thing started out, I wanted to prioritize the magic torch. What is all this? What is all this? Why is it all purpley? Oh. Uh, are you kidding me? I literally just dealt with you. Why? Why is this just another one over here? Okay, well, it's weaker. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We are fighting the, the falling star beast for the entire stream, I guess. Uh, Alright, come on. Quit being a nuisance. Oh, my neck. I mean, look, objectively it is. It's weaker than the other one. That does not mean it's <laughs> any more fun to fight. Me didn't help, like, at all during fighting the actual one, but, like... I don't know, it's here... I guess it's just gonna ignore me and go for me. Oh good, me's fighting an idiot. Okay, idiot dead. Alright, me, stop fighting it then.
I wonder how this one stacks with the one in Celia Crystal Tunnel. It dodged like in the middle of the combo towards it when I wanted to go away from it because of the exact same thing I complained about all throughout the Draconic Tree Sentinel. I don't need to reiterate. It is such a big problem and I don't know why they decided it was necessary. Or if it was a decision. If it's like a glitch, it's more forgivable, but... Oh god, it's fucking raining. I can't fight this thing in the rain. I can't fight anything in the rain. Fucking okay. Hopefully, when I respawn after losing out of this attempt, it won't be raining that time. Put me down. Yeah, sail clean over it. That's fine. That's exactly how I need that to go down. Just jump, don't worry about the attack. I didn't even I didn't even click it to attack. That button, that R2, it means nothing. It may as well not even be there. Another in a long line of enemies that spends all of its time just moving away from you. It's kind of a problem. It's kind of a problem with a lot of the like boss design in this game is that they're just designed to constantly move away from you. Some of them it's cool and adds to the encounter, like the fire giant. It's kind of neat and adds something to the encounter, so he's not just like some stable dummy that you can just beat on. He's like, <laughs> just this constantly moving threat that like when he moves, it's like, okay, I got to readjust, but he's not like constantly moving. He'll like roll away from you and then start doing some attacks from there where stuff like that is just always going. I just did like a tier list of bosses and I forgot how frustrating that guy is when I did it. Okay, well that was... I left some souls behind apparently. Did I just die with like 20,000 souls in my inventory? Yep. Did you guys, like, go away? I one-shot you and it's, like, raining. Well. Okay, but. I can get the magic torch upgraded a couple of times. 
I only need like two more smithing stone sixes now. After fighting those two falling star beasts. So that's actually super fortunate. Huh? Well, I didn't do that? Uh, might as well. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah. But it's just done now. Now this thing's damage is 427. <gasps> I got six points of damage. Let's go. Why is this group chat just blowing up? Sorry. Had to check something. Okay. I think my current play... This is not where I wanted to be yet. I was like, yeah, I should go down here and look for sevens, but no, I need to be up here looking for Lower Capital Church. What is the Lower Capital Church? What is this bonfire? Grace, whatever. Oh, oh, it's, no, it's here. I was really wanting to get up and quickly retaliate there and not just stand around like an idiot or lay around like an idiot. But that didn't happen, so... It was good. So... The, the smithing stone miner's bell bearing four, three is in Zamor ruins which yeah that won't be for a while what is this this is just another entrance into the sewer yeah alright well this is not where I wanted to be anyway um that's in Zamor ruins <laughs> and four I believe lies with the Foreskin Brothers. Mmm. My favorite. Mmm, Foreskin. <laughs> that was a very cursed thing I just said.
Oh, that did like nothing. Oh boy, time to leave. Time to go. <laughs> this is looking bad. <laughs> time to die, more like it. Oh. Oh, my eye itches. Oh yeah, there's you. I forgot about you. I don't worry about the attack, I just wanted to jump. I was trying to jump in his face to like flex on him, you know? That's exactly how I wanted that to go down. Obs. What? You don't have any health. Why are you alive? Thank you. <laughs> oh, good. Somber six. Exactly what I needed. And see, by acquiring a somber smithing stone six, what I really acquired was money. Because I don't need somber smithing stones like at all. I can see by the purple glow that this isn't what I need, but... Nor is it very helpful. You mean to tell me he was lining up that shot as I landed? That guy's such a good archer that he's clairvoyant. These two cords are so tangled. There's <laughs> so many tangled cords. Okay. That's right, I already did it. Okay. This game just loves giving me things that are, at best, not helpful. Okay. Right. Another option that's technically open to me that I don't think is feasible is fighting the godskin noble for access to more of the volcano manor. However, that uh, is can only really go poorly. Was oh, this is just this area. I didn't actually mean to press that button there, but I, I did end up just ducking under the stick. <laughs> also, we've got an archer. My boy. The homie.
Why? Why won't you run right there? Thank you. I shouldn't have to ask politely for the game to do basic maneuvers. Oh, yeah. That's just back here. Shit. Time to be dead. If you could be two smithing stones, suck. Or you could be completely and utterly worthless. That also works. Not a single time playing this game have I ever been like, hmm, a pickled turtleneck sounds useful right now. Not a once. Okay, maybe I've exhausted the avenue balcony and I need to go somewhere else. Excuse me. Climb the ladder. Do it. Something is shooting lightning at me? You know what's like really getting on my nerves right now? For no reason? Is the clicking of the controller. I don't know why, but it's it's really bothering me. Okay, don't worry about running around him. Just run directly into him. Well, since when was there a dog right there? There was never a dog right there. Oh yeah, there's a tower up north that I can go to. How?
Okay. So if I can get around this row of houses, then I can get over there. Eh? Yeah. Like that. Nope. Oh, probably that way. Cool, I'll just get hit by all of that, it's fine. Cool, not a single bit of that was helpful. Okay. I just want to open the map, dude. Come on. Look, he's fucking off. I don't care about him. What the fuck? Or you could pick the thing up like I told you to. <sighs> How did you get over that? Get off me. Do the thing. Uh-huh, idiot, what now? I don't understand how to get to that tower. Well, I mean, I know one way up there, but it's not... I don't want to go there.
Maybe I can go up here and then go around? No? I don't think so. Oh! Oh, yes I can. Oh, I, I can, but... Where is it? I don't know, because dog. The big thing that this tower I'm trying to get, get to takes you to is like, what is still aggroed? Thank you. Oh, I'm so far away from it. Oh, I see. It is past the Earth Tree Sanctuary. <gasps> ah, the corner of nothing. My favorite of the corners. I want you to guess what it contains. Ah, that is right. Nothing. It would appear to be some semblance of this way. It's easy enough to get to. What if I hop along, hop on that, and come on? Travel along the rooftops. Ah, oh, good. I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay. Well. Oh. Uh. Yep, there's that guy. How am I supposed to get to that tower naturally? Because the way I'm thinking of is from the Tower of Return. Because here's the thing about it, right? 
And I'm about to go to it. It's about to not be helpful. There's a specific reason I'm trying to go there. And it's just because there's something I want to check. Oh, fucking course it's raining. It's because I you basically can't do anything when it's raining. I guess there's one thing that makes this torch better than that one is it's not dependent on weather conditions. It never dismounts the horse the first time I ask it to. It's always about the third time I ask it to dismount the horse that it finally does. That's how I really get to go. That's how I know to get to this tower. I don't really know any other ways. Other than this elevator that I can't activate from up here, and from below, I don't really know where it is. Oh, it's back here? What? That is not at all where I thought this tower was. So the big reason I've been trying to get here is because... One, just a lost grace, because why not, I guess, I don't fucking know. And two... There's a teleport circle over there, and I don't know where that goes, at least not off the top of my head. So, fun story, there's like a boss fight variant of this guy, and I've still never seen it. I have no idea what it's like. So yeah, I'm trying to get to that. Because I don't know where this goes. And it doesn't activate until I activate the elevator to get up this tower. Well, that was a valuable experiment, but literally for only one reason. Just to tell me that I've been going completely the wrong direction to get here.
Okay, so there's like a courtyard. Fine. Fucking right there. Bam. I was assuming just like in the round table hold this door wouldn't, wouldn't open. What is this? What is this switch for? Yep. <gasps> A Stormhawk axe. I can't wait to sell it. Okay, I thought it was coming on this elevator for a second. I'm so ready to be disappointed by where this thing takes me. I genuinely don't think it's going to be valuable. Not worth my time in the slightest. Okay. With the plus 21 torch, I could try the double gargoyles again. Okay. <sighs> and you know what the big problem is? I definitely discovered that on stream. 100% absolutely found that. I just forgot about it. Okay. I don't know what to do about these sixes that I need. Okay. okay. I don't believe in this attempt, but... You know what I need? That. I need that. Okay. So now that we've got that, this will go better. No. Time for this dumb shit. Literally, the big reason that I hate this fight is... Well, there's two reasons. The damage floor and the gank. Yep, that, that one. Thanks for proving my point. Ooh, 
right in the face. The mimic here tried to go away because we were in that corner. Gargoyle spawned, so I'm boned. As the other gargoyle spawned, this one made the damage for. Are you kidding me? Oh no, I'm getting fucking game bang. I can't even tell what's happening anymore. Okay. You get out of here so I can see. Good. What? I was not in that. What happened? I'm gonna greet it. And I'm gonna benefit for it. Okay. Dumb bullshit. That boss fight went in F tier on my tier list. You can probably guess why. Literally only one boss made it to S tier on my tier list. I was leveling dexterity. Woo. It might be worthwhile eventually to finally invest into int. In fact, at any point, whenever, if and or whenever I finally want to pivot over to the magic torch, I can just respec completely out of dex and put all of that into int. How much is this? 30? 20. Whatever, that should be enough. For now, I should continue into Vigor and Endurance, though. Hi there! I love fighting these things with this build because it's one of the few things that the torch can actually proficiently fight. So it's super satisfying to not just be railed by something. 
and to do the railing myself. Some more ghost glove wart, okay. Ants. Oh. Oh, it's these ants. Oh no, that was bad. Okay. Okay, I managed it. There's a second one. Oh, fucking it's notice me. These ants are a problem because they're so good at keeping you in front of them. Which is where you don't need to be if you're dealing if you're trying to deal damage. The hell? There was a small glowy spot for ten seconds. I don't understand. Exactly what I'm looking for. Need just one more. And then I'll need some sevens. I have no fucking idea where to get sevens. Well, actually, I have one gas. And basically, it's just going to require I continue on this path. Oh, my hands are starting to hurt. Okay, that hole is just full of ants. So I don't know if I want to go that way. But there might be a six in there. I didn't find this hole until like earlier today. Yep, they care. Okay. I was hoping that maybe if I just left their queen alone, they'd be fine. Not so much. Excuse me, guys. I don't care about you. I'm just looking for items like that. Like, 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 like this. That's a somber six. Okay. Oh, that's just light. <gasps> Elden Stars. Excuse me. Is Elden actually a word? Cool, thanks, horse. The horse controls so terribly. I I hate the horse, dude. Like it, it's so useful for getting around the world, but for doing anything precision based is completely worthless. And the problem is like Yeah, you probably shouldn't be trying to do anything precision based on the horse, but like Sometimes you can't really avoid it. Sometimes you just kind of have to do it. Like right there wasn't one of them, but if I had tried to dismount the horse, then I probably would have just fallen. Hmm. 
Excuse me, fellas. Just uh, trying to go this way. Whoever I end up paying to edit my streams can just edit this part out. <laughs> or I'm not talking and nothing's really happening. Other than ants. There's ants happening. Okay. Off the horse. Get my shit and get out. Uh, idiot! You can fly, moron, why don't you? Flying enemies in this game are so funny because they don't actually know how to fly. They only know how to levitate. Okay. I'm currently just thinking about and dreading having to explore Einsel River, Maine. <sighs> or it's not Einsel River, Maine. What is it? Whatever the other forbidden, forgotten, forsaken, forsworn, forlorn, whatever city is. The Forgotten Realms, the the D and D setting. Oh Lord, they are coming. Excuse me, boys. My boy. Okay, right, so as far as stones, I know there's a few somber stones down here. I think there's probably some sevens. Rune arc. Three sixes? Oh, okay, I'm done searching for stones. <laughs> well, I'm done searching for sixes, at least. I don't think there's going to be any sevens down here.
I think all the sevens are going to be in the subsequent area. It turns out, you headless wank, I did not ask. Did I need to go back and talk to Rani at some point? I'll reiter reiterate, literally the only reason I'm doing Rani's questline is for smithing stones because I've had so much trouble with them in this playthrough. I think I needed to talk to her again. Because I did not meet Blythe and Nokron, meaning he was uh, predisposed, if you will. I really like the music in Liernia. I know it's just like, for the most part, it's like just one, like, violin note. Oh. I'm like, inept. Below the well. That's not where I need to be. Oh, Mii's torch actually does light up stuff. You're gonna turn into a guy. You're not. Oh, you're gonna turn into patches, I see. What's up, nerd? I'm gonna punch you in the dick until you're dead. Ow. Oh yeah, for some reason, me goes away when this encounter starts, which is dumb.
why does me go away during all this? I, I genuinely do not understand that. Oh, I have to deal with all of these ones again. Don't turn into patches. He turned into patches. Like, yeah, he just leaves. Why? Fuck out of here. Oh good, there was no real reason to fight that guy. Woo. Dude, the best thing ever, if you open this chest and you haven't started Rainy's quest or if you try to open this chest and you haven't found if you haven't started Rainy's quest line, it'll just be like your it is not your destiny to open this chest. Which is really stupid. Just like, at that point, don't even have it spawn. I've been forgetting to do her quest line because I haven't been doing her quest line. I don't at all need to, like, finish it, but... The plan is to use it to get past Astel, Estelle, Estelle Getty. Whatever his name is. And grab up those smithing stones that are back there. Because I'll need them, apparently. Because I've been sorely lacking in smithing stones. Is it just like a Pavlovian response at this point for me to get tired when I sit in this chair? I'm always tired when I start streaming. Oh yeah, I never went to regular Einzel River. <laughs> Oops.
Ow. Double ow. I'm taking cover. This must be Gears of War. That's a plant. A four. Are you kidding me? A four? Or game, you could lock onto him and not nothing. I love it when it does the jump, but not the attack. That's my favorite thing. Okay, get the fuck out of here. So I don't remember this place very well. I'll go to six. Is this one an eight? Or you can pick it up. No, it's a six. Okay. Madness flower. Why is that down here? I had one tier on my tier list just labeled regular enemy. Uh, and instead of putting that flower into D tier, I had to put it into regular enemy. D was technically the third worst tier that I had. Because I also had a tier just labeled garbage that should feel bad. And there was one and only one boss in that tier. And it was the Godskin Duo. Oh, get out of my way, dude. Okay, it might actually be worth my time to fight through this. Just because if there's things to discover, I need all of them. Oh no, these are the flying ones. These just straight up aren't even ants anymore. Those are wasps. You got a stinger, they fly. They're wasps. Ah! Yes, a guy! Oh. I'm over here now. It's actually kind of not where I was trying to be. Oh. Ow. Bitch. Wasn't I literally just saying, hey, maybe I should fight these? And then I just didn't. Yeah. It's about how it goes. It do be how it do be. Do be, do be, do. Definitely wasn't trying to be over there. Okay. 
So now I'm in an endless death loop. I don't know why. I'm in a loop of constantly going to places I don't need to be. I can know old palace ruins actually could be helpful. Because from there I can go to the earlier parts of the area. Ow, ow. Ow. Eh, what did? I gotta be like that, dude. Why <laughs> being a dick? Ow. The wing of Estelle. Astel. I don't know. <laughs> Asshole. The boss. Asshole. I say that, but it was literally the only boss that I put into S tier. <laughs> was the the actual fight with Astel. Not this. This is just, this is just a guy. Am I dead? No, I'm fine. Ah, I found your weakness, pillar. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. Damn it. Cash movements, now they're just wasting my time. Okay, I killed that in three hits. A smithing stone three the most valuable one the best one the best guy funny story I'm interested in none of this fuck you oh that was rude <laughs> I guess I might as well just backtrack through this area. Because for the longest time I just uh, forgot to come here. Okay, well, I don't need smithing stone sixes anymore. So I really don't need to be down here. Unless it's got ghost glove work eight. Yeah, it doesn't. This is a much earlier game area. Okay. Well, I don't actually need to be here. Oops. This definitely won't have smithing stone sevens. Way too early in the game for that. I wonder, however, the Dragon Kid Soldier of Noxtella. How will that go?
Uh, do I have literally any reason to deal with the stuff in here? A sm three smithing stone twos, good. Oh boy. Excuse me. The ants really are genuinely kind of freaky. I said it during my mainstream playthrough, but like, I'm not even like scared of bugs. It's just seeing a massive carapace covered beast hurtling at me, followed by five buddies, is terrifying. He, there he is, Mr. A guy. Oh, that missed. Now, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Well, how'd it go on a phase two workout for you, idiot? This is just a great ghost glove word, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I never found the map for this area. Is there anything left in it, really, though? Okay. I don't need that bonfire. Okay. So now... Time to get my upgrades on the second torch. It should end up at plus 20, I think. Because, what, the main one's at 22? Oh, yeah. So, never mind. It should end up at about... No, actually, it should end up at about plus 20. <gasps> yep. That's still probably not dealing as much damage as this thing, but... Ooh, off by a wide margin, actually. I love how pretty much the only reason I've even I've even been using and leveling that torch is for the sake of things that are not that are you know resistant to fire. Yeah, there's nothing new here, nothing new here, and I don't care about Queen Marka. Okay. Any bell bearings? Nope. One thing that hasn't really registered to me yet is that we're pretty close to the end of this run. And that's kind of crazy and hasn't really it hasn't really set in. Because what? At this point we've got more got 
We've got the fire giant. We've got Malekith. Nope, we got the God Skin duo. We got the Four Skin Brothers. Then we have Malekith. Then we have Gideon. Uh, Gideon, Gideon. Then we have Horalu. And then we have the final boss. Is now that's seven. But that's if I don't go for anything optional. But the idea is to go for optional stuff. At least some of it. So, so there's seven as far as the main game. But then we've got... Well, I think literally Estelle, Astel, whatever, however you pronounce his name, is the next thing in this direction. Uh, so there's eight. Astel. Um, I, I think that's it that's down there. Because what? Blythe doesn't really count. That's not a boss fight, that's just an, a guy. But. So there's Astel down there. And then. There's the Regal Ancient Stag, whatever it's actually called. I can never remember what that thing is called. Regal Ancestor Spirit, I think it is. Um, <laughs> there's the Godskin Noble, followed by Rikard. Then there's Commander Nial, Loretta, and Melania. So completely basic terms there's either seven or fourteen bosses left I want to do most of the seven or most of the second seven before or no I want to do most of the first seven before I tackle most of the um, secondary stuff but what I also want to do is I definitely want to go ahead and fight Astel because I think that'll go fine. Oh, I should have leveled up me. I forgot to level up me. Hold on. Some people are probably going to just illegitimize this run because I'm using the spirit summons and that's kind of fine. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not, like, good at these games. So, like, that's basically the only excuse I have for myself is I suck at things. So if you don't think this run is legit, that's fine by me. I understand and I've said it several times at this point, someone else can do it better than me. I know. I'm well aware. But if I beat it, I'll be satisfied, and that's... I care about that. I do, that's important. Oh, I forgot about Placidus Axe, so that's... 15 bosses left if we're going for like everything or well not everything everything but you know close to everything I can summon here why <gasps> Dukist Herba 
do kiss Herbie. It was not, yeah, it was not that way. That's right, it's this way, Platt, past the ant hill. Excuse me, fellas. This run feels like it's been at least vaguely interesting, at least from like a mechanic standpoint. Maybe not from a me standpoint. Like, you know, you could probably get a, a better streamer playing it. Because <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> but from a mechanical standpoint, this run seems like it's been interesting. Like, if someone were to go through and cut all the not interesting parts, I feel like this would make for a pretty interesting run. This is not where I want to be. I did it again. Oh, excuse me. I think my... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. And my clock. No, okay. Uh, I think my next stream series, I've finally gotten some, like, Pokemon uh, emulators and randomizers and whatnot to work. And I'd really love to do a Pokemon challenge run. And my plan is, I want to do Pokemon challenge runs until I succeed at one. <laughs> Pick this up! Ultimately, what did that do for me? Nothing. That did nothing. I did nothing. I've accomplished not. Oh boy. Lightning slimes that I missed for some reason. <laughs> that keep missing me for some reason. Oh, nope, there we go. Oh yeah, right. They explode when they die. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's actually going to be useful to remember. They explode when they die. Because I can have them suicide bomb their friends. And I can get out of things scot-free. Oh, I never found that. That actually would be super useful. Just pile on some background damage while I get in their face. Not in this run, because I've limited myself to the mimic tier. <laughs> oh yeah, these are the ones with the face plates. Ow. I forgot about the faceplate ones. Yo, that guy, that guy is excited for something. I think he's pogging. <laughs> I need this guy in my next thumbnail. <gasps> he's making the, the YouTuber face. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> I'm totally, I recorded a video for me making the thumbnail, and I'm totally putting that in the thumbnail, because that's great. 
I need to harvest it from steam. <laughs> That'd be really funny to me. I don't know if anyone else would think it's funny. I would think that's hilarious. <laughs> Just some dead guy in the thumbnail. <laughs> Okay, what is in here? Um, nothing of interest. So don't even waste the key. And then we've got ball! Yep, there it goes. Hello there! I stand right here, can it get me? Oh, I think so. Oh, yeah. Not if I kill it first, let's go. I have murdered the ball. Oh, there's another one. And dude, what's absolutely perfect about it is my torch is illuminating him. That looks like a good angle to me. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> It's such a dumb joke. I love it. <laughs> this dead guy is literally making the YouTuber face. A, yep, there it is. Oh, no. Uh, if I hide right here, will it just constantly... It will constantly get stuck. You've been defeated, Ball. Ow. I've been defeated, Ball. Hmm? Oh. are open. Another great ghost glove wart. But I'm only allowed to use one spirit. You know, technically, due to the name of this challenge, it is, you know, torches only. And the mimic tier does indeed use a torch. So by the rules, it's fine. There's no argument otherwise. Fuck you. Am I about to be assaulted by balls again? Oh no, this is the lightning slimes. Hold on. Let me get to the lightning slime. Have it just uh, explode. And because there's more lightning slimes, it'll just chain reaction into more splodies. There is a ball! Oh, but I think the ball is just dropping these guys. It's not that one, it's this one. Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay. Explode. Ooh. Chain reaction. There we go. Oh. Oh, there's the ball. <laughs> Splody killed the ball. Let's go. <laughs>
Oh, I already got that, whatever that was. I already don't remember what that item was. No? No ball? Okay. You know this game and its love for balls. <laughs> I'm 23. Oh good, I can summon me. Oh god. Oh, one of those patches. Oh, wow, I'm almost dead. Ow. Okay, let me take all the fire while I kill. As many things as I can. Okay, you're dead. Okay. Is this like a variant of that guy in PvP? Like just great shield, spear jabbies? It feels like this would be a that guy kind of build. Okay, good job, me. Ha <laughs> ha! We have bested them, me. Goodbye. Can move this back up here now that I'm leaning forward a little more. That is something with FP, doesn't it? Like something not helpful. Increases. Oh no, it increases my memory slots. <gasps> Whoa, I can attune another spell? <gasps> With all those spells I've been attuning, that'll be super helpful. And I... Have I literally ever been over here? Is this a shortcut? I don't think I can just leave yet. Oh, there's a thing. There's a dragon ball. I've been running a D&D &D game for a few of my friends and I need to I need to tell one of them a joke because it could be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and I really just thought about it. Cuz the campaign's going to be based around the uh, orbs orbs of dragon kind is what they're called. They're these, like, crystal orbs that contain the malign spirits of, uh, like, ancient arch dragons and whatnot. And one of our players is currently possessed by it. And I really just want to tell him, hey, you should... Uh, and he's a monk. Or he's like, not possessed by one of them, but he's, like, uh, beguiled and thralled by one of them. And I really want to tell, tell him, hey, the path of monk you should take should be, actually be Sun Soul and not Way of the Ascended Dragon. Because you're literally... Holding a dragon ball. <laughs> and the way of the sun soul is the way of the Goku. <laughs> like all the key blasts and whatnot. Oh, it'd be hilarious. That'd be the best.
I hate that there's just vulgar militia dudes riding ants. Oh, those aren't vulgar militia dudes. Those are the, the Nox dudes. Either way, I'm skipping them. <laughs> I ain't dealing with that shit. I'm also going the wrong way. <gasps> Celestial do Wow, I can't wait to never use it. Because if I kill somebody, there's about a 90% chance that I meant to. Bye! Where is this? I thought I was about to be at the evil lake or whatever it's called. The lake of dog shit. The, the Scarlet Rot Lake. As it's colloquially known. I apparently can barely pronounce the word colloquially. That is quite the word is the thing. Colloquially, yeah. A lot of k and a lot of o in that word. As I've so elegantly put it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Excuse me. There's still fours and fives. Stopped up. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. You know what? Fuck it. Let's try it. Let's go back to old reliable. Hey guys, don't mind me. I didn't think he was going for another swing. I was not expecting that. Oh, come on. Blood flame shit does damage so fast. Oh, he can heal. This sucks because usually the benefit to fighting these like NPCs is their super exploitable AI letting you get crits all the time. Uh, I can't crit. I cannot claim critical hits. Or you could do the fucking thing. 
Not like that. I can't. Okay. We traded hits there and it worked in my favor. Uh, her voice acting just stirred. They're like, the voiceover just stopped happening for some reason. I don't have any eights, right? No. Nah. Well, I do indeed know where some are. Keep piling into int. I feel like int is going to be the most useful thing to continue to level here. <laughs> My magic and fire resistances are pretty solid for some reason. That would be why. I will say, one thing about this game is that this one has the best stat array of any of the Souls games. And that sounds weird, but in every other Souls game, there was at least one stat that was not useful in any build. Um, except maybe DS3. DS3 might not have had any. Or not necessarily one that was like not useful in any build, but one that was dumb and problematic. So like in Dark Souls 1 it was resistance. Resistance was completely worthless and had no place in the game. Um, then in Dark Souls 2 it was the famous ADP. Oh, 297 versus 347? Yeah, no, no contest. Okay. Feel like I might should go for some items here. Oh, there's a ledge up there. How do I get to that? Oh, 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 <laughs> This is definitely how this game was intended to be played. Can I actually get up into this whole mess? And or would it matter if I could? Alright, I only have 1400 souls. I think that means I should probably go for some items. Not an Aeonian butterfly. It's basically like wrapping up a pile of dog shit and handing it to your little brother on Christmas. Yeah, Aeonian Butterfly. That's cool, right? Totally worth the toxic. Oh. Oh yeah, then there's basilisks here. 
basilisks are the best things in any souls born game. Obs. Why is there just that guy hanging out here? The heck? There's the Dragonkin Warrior. I'm currently just taking advantage of the fact that if I... <laughs> that I'm already toxic, so, like, running through this swamp has no penalties currently. Isn't that him? Yeah, that's him. That was not the right one. I've never found items like... Like right there, the stanching boluses or their Dark Souls equivalent, the uh, Blood Red Moss Clump. I've never found that very useful. Because it seems like your goal should probably be just to avoid getting bled instead of being able to be hit by the thing that's bleeding you for a little longer. This is fashion. But it has... I think that's pretty high immunity and robustness. Yeah, that's super high immunity. Its vitality isn't bad either. It's, a lot of its uh, resistance stats are on par with this thing. Or better. Okay, I'm down with that. What I'm not down with is all these stupid basilisks. Okay. This is my last heal. Oh, come on, damn it. Um, hold on. Yeah, I'm just getting rotted at this point. Go back to this bonfire. Okay. I've explored the lake as much as I want to. <laughs> Mushroom head. Nine? It weighs nine? Oh, a lot of its defensive stats are actually kind of on par with this thing, too. Oof. There's no light gloves that I could use with. <gasps> I feel like that's just not ideal at this point. I don't know. It's it's not bad is the thing. Raises attack power when something nearby suffers from poison or rot. That's interesting. This build doesn't have any super valuable use for that, but it is interesting. I also need to probably go back to what I was doing because that's going to be more effective.
Although in this area, that resistance being super high, honestly, pretty valuable. Oh. Well, this platform is going to be polite enough to just raise far enough for me to grab that. It's just fucking rock grease. I can't use grease. Alright, since I can see it's going to be a problem, let's just put that there. Where is the Dragonkin Warrior? Why is that guy just out here? It's so weird. Ah, uh, come on. Nope, that's not... Yep. Nom nom. What am I looking at here? Okay. So I need to go this way first. Okay. It's a plot twist. My immunity is currently 347 over 110. Um... I think the 110, I don't have any idea what the 110 is. Oh, I can roll like that. That actually works out, because now my immunity is even higher. Oh, come on. Don't let grabbing that item be the death of me. Okay. Or this fucking guy. <sighs> well, no, my rot buildup is still a little too high for me to just go out there. What do you mean? It's fine. It's fine. It'll got you. Right? I could not do anything there. It was either the toxic or the death light at that point. That's what's called being given an ultimatum. Are they chasing me? No, they don't care about me. I love that it's got a little one spore cap that's going out like that, so it's like a baseball cap. <laughs> it's so funny to me. The, the whole thing is just very funny. It doesn't look quite as deranged, but right now it's actually definitely more useful. Actually, just in general, I should find my highest resistance stuff. That I can, like, effectively light load where. It's like this versus 57, 67, yeah, like that. So this is the highest resistance that I could have.
So how are you guys doing? I'm just uh just waiting for this bar to go down. Deranged is just a very good word for <laughs> for this aesthetic. It's such a perfect descriptor of how I would think this guy is. Okay, that's actually just a corpse. Okay, would you go away? No? Okay. Place your bets. Am I getting death blighted again? What the why are there two more? Where did they come from? Okay. I'm just gonna tank the rod at this point. I don't really have a better option. Because fighting those things is not an option. Fighting basilisks on a little tiny platform is just not going to work out. So I didn't really have much of a choice there but to bail. This part of the challenge run isn't even based on the torch. This is just based on fucking toxic. Okay, I think this I'm literally just gonna have to tank the Scarlet Rot. I don't think there's an option. <laughs> if I had not switched out this chest piece, I would have gotten Toxic right there. Or Scarlet Rot, whatever. I'm just standing around. Do you think there's a way on top of these platforms? Okay, I'm done doing that. <laughs> this is making me a little nauseous. Is there stuff back that way? Okay, what is that? So why can these stupid balls cure me of toxic, but not someone like Millicent? 
Why couldn't I give Millicent a, m my balls <laughs> and have her be cured? Wouldn't that make sense? I guess maybe the idea is that these things help with the onset of it. The preserving bol boluses. I've never seen that word before. Bolus? Made of cave moss? Oh. It's moss clumps. To affect once the threshold is reached, Scarlet Rot ailment greatly lowers HP in steady increments over a period. Yeah, I figured that one wasn't going to do much. I want to go in the air. What's in the air? I want to know. Some people in this world should not be allowed to speak, and I'm one of them. Because <laughs> I exclusively say dumb shit like that. <laughs> huh? <gasps> I've got a flower. Whoa. Alright, so here's the thing. This is like nowhere near like the Aeonia Swamp. Right? Yeah, this is like right under Rhea Lucaria. And Aeonia Swamp is all the way over here. So what is happening with this Scarlet Rot nonsense? Maybe the idea is like, maybe it's running through the Halig tree? And like all at the end of the Halig tree's roots. I don't know. I can't come up with anything better. There's literally nothing. Oh no, there's not nothing. There is Nokron under under Aeonia Swamp. Why? Why isn't this under Aeonia Swamp? And why isn't Nokron under Rhea Lucaria? That would make more sense. Like, if they changed it now, it'd be weird and be and dumb, probably, but. Because mm. literally, Aeonia Swamp is the other major. <laughs> Scarlet Rot Swamp in the game other than this one. So why aren't they connected in some way? Maybe there's a lore reason. <gasps> Please don't stagger upon landing. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the uh, long periods of waiting around. It's kind of necessary. Whenever I get an editor, they can just cut this out. Or honestly, just speed it up. Speed it up would be funnier. So I was talking about doing like a Pokemon challenge earlier. <laughs> While we're waiting for this. And I was thinking of doing, like, maybe some kind of single Pokemon run. Because I can, I can throw in something really wacky and interesting due to the uh, universal Pokemon randomizer. Uh, the problem is I don't want to be a ripoff of one of the channels that I watch. That's <laughs> literally what he does. Or, well, okay, it is not the only thing he does, but it, it's, like, it's his most popular content. But it, it's also just entertaining to do. So, like, I want to do it. I'm also passionate about Pokemon. I love Pokemon. So, like... I don't know. It sounds even more fun than doing this. 
which realistically sounds miserable, this, <laughs> but, you know. I think I can just jump down. Yeah, I'm fine. I am one with the screws. So if I didn't do a single Pokemon run, I've also... I've had an idea for a challenge run since I was like 11. Uh, and basically what it is... I... <clears throat> I never landed on an official name, but currently the name I'm on is a badge lock. Oh, it's the original name, I called it a badge counter. It was because the original, original cut of the challenge run was you're only allowed to, um... You can only catch a number of Pokemon equal to the badges you have, plus one. There's another thing for platforms over there. Well, I need it now. Now that I've noticed it, I need it. I'm gonna waste one of my fucking... <gasps> Ugh, come on. Oh, hey, there's a way up here. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> oh, no, what is that? Is that just... It's just this guy. Why is this guy here? What? Uh oh do not throw me off. Oh, come on. It threw me in here anyway. It's infuriating. Uh, is there even a way back up there? There's gotta be, right? I'm not just locked out of... What? I'm just locked out of that now. Why would you design it like that? What just happened? Okay, well... Whatever he dropped, I guess I'm not getting it. I didn't mean to do that. What? Can I fix it? Oh. just locks off to me now? Because the guy picked me up and threw me? That's so dumb. That's ridiculous. So I'm sure that guy dropped something, but whatever it is, I just can't have it now. Cool. Thanks, game. That's ridiculous. Oh, wait, no, hold on. There's a cliffside over here. So you want me to run all the way over here. Just to retry this. Not because I died, but because he threw me off. In a manner that couldn't be helped. Okay... How not to design a video game 101. This. Like, literally put this over here. Put that over here. Put the ladder and nothing else right there. And it's fine. They just didn't. They just didn't, so it's stupid. Literally that and nothing else is what's up here. 
Really? It's just this guy? Dropped his sword. I can't use it, so this was a waste of time. Okay, there's something over here. Okay. When I pick up St. Trina's torch, that'll be useful. It's literally, from my count, the only torch that uses somber stones. So, like, I have to use it, obvs. What would definitely make this run harder is if you restricted yourself to only the regular torch. That would be stupid. I definitely took, like, the easiest form of doing this challenge and making it torches. But if you wanted to be a real god gamer, you could do this with just a torch. It is feasible. It's dumb, but it's feasible. That killed me. So it really wants me to climb back down that ladder and run all the way back around. Which I'm not doing. It's like 3,000 souls, it's not worth anything. That guy only dropped 3,000 souls? I mean, it was easy. But like, under no circumstances was that worth my time. I should uh, go back to what I was using. Buy funny hat. Actually, hold on. Is wearing the funny hat better for my defense? It's 26. There's no way that's better. It's like, yep, already at 27. Yep, 30. Okay, yeah, this is better. That hat might be better than this hat. But the set I needed with that hat was worse. Smithing stone 7. Yeah, it's a golden ring. Oh good, those guys, my favorite ones. There's one boss fight in this game that's literally just two of that guy. Which is dumb, by the way. Putting two of them together in general is dumb, but then making it a boss fight is even dumber. Just saying. Some things are bad boss fights and, and easy. Because it's a super annoying boss fight because it's a super annoying enemy type. But, like, the thing that makes it just really terrible is, I guess, basically just the thing that makes that guy such an annoying enemy to deal with. And that's just him. He's annoying. Okay. I can't see anything. I'm like in the wall at this point. Oh good, there's that guy too. Hey big guy, kill the little guy. That'd be really helpful to me if you could kill- oh god, there's several. There's so many. I'm dead. I'm dead to gangbang. Okay, 
you could kill these guys, that'd be super great. Oh, he did! Okay, now we can have a semi-real fight. Actually, we can have a real fight. Ow. No, we can't. I'm dead. Okay. And there was basically nothing I could do about that. I was rotted. There were like five dudes. It was That was just over the time it started. Or the moment it started, rather. Ugh, I gotta walk all the way back down. Cool and fun and good. Uh, it's just my stuff. I thought that was a bonfire, and I was like, how did I not notice that? No, it's just my stuff. Where's... Oh. Oh, those guys are all the way back here this time. Big guy. He has not even spawned in right now. And I don't think I'm going to convince him to spawn in, and you know what? I don't care that much. I'll just leave. Oh no. What would be really helpful to me is if these guys were weak to fire and would stop fucking running from me. That's like one of their main battle tactics is just slithering away from you. And that's what makes them super irritating. Is that they just leave constantly. It's the same thing that makes dragons annoying in this game, is they'll just leave. I've had it several times where I'm fighting a dragon and it just leaves the battlefield. Like, not even, like, runs away from me. It leaves the fight. It, or, well, not even the fight. It leaves the battle. The battlefield. It's so stupid. And very clearly not well thought out as a design choice. Come on. There's these guys shooting their magic arrows. I don't understand what that nonsense is supposed to be. Scorpion Stinger. It looked like a torch for a second, and I was excited to pick up a torch. But then I remembered, oh yeah, there's no like other torches. There's St. Trina's torch, and that's the last one. Literally, I've collected every other torch. So this was truly a completionist run. Ow. Stop. This, I believe, should be right outside of Astol's boss room. Ooh. There's Birdie down here. Well, I can get rid of these now. I'm gonna replace this with this. If I could find the spell Drake Talisman plus two, that'd be nice, but I'm not gonna be. Okay, so I can hear the battle music. Those guys are still, like, aggroed to me. Even though we exist in very different places now. Like, I think that's what I'm hearing is the combat music. Okay. Noted. Just got fucking railed. Ah, come on. I dodged that. Ah, oh, come on, me dodge that. Boom. Uh-oh. I was uh, literally about to say the most redundant and obvious nonsense ever. I was literally going to say, I didn't mean to get hit by that. 
this is going great, if you can't tell. I'm doing very good. Could not be... But why does that keep hitting me? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I can see clearly now this guy is gone. This is not the winning attempt, if you can't tell. Yep, that was four. He keeps hitting me with the arm that does not have the magic on it. The, the part of the arm that doesn't have the magic on it. Oh. I thought, got, I, I thought me got caught in the grab. Uh oh. I iframed through the first bit of that with luck. It was pure luck. Damn it. I was gonna try an iframe through that, but Did I iframe through that or did I? Whoa! Okay. Oh. Okay, that one shots. That that literally may as well have been a one shot. So me is at plus seven. There's there's no bonfires down here. I have two of these now. Oh yeah. I summon from my deck, me. that I'm not even getting hit by the magic part of that. I'm getting hit by the arm part of that. Ooh, that I... I... I framed that. <laughs> I didn't even know what was happening and I I framed it. Oh, well. Me's just getting butt fucked there. Ah, come on. can't. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, that was cool. Man, I keep getting lucky with the iframes on that. Ah, 
Not that time. Uh oh. So I think I learned last time that when he teleports like really close to his original location, he's gonna do that big grab. I think that might be what I learned. Oh, he is dead. Nope, oh, come on. <laughs> Normal teleport. Okay, one hit from death. Ah. Uh. Okay, no, that's roughly the same. <laughs> That fight is so cool. I love that one. Right. It's not going to be two levels. Hold on, it's almost two levels. I <laughs> have how many tens? gonna be 7500 I can still squeeze more levels out of what I have in my inventory because I need 44,000 I need 11,000 Well, I mean, I have the Remembrance, so I know I can. I'd rather avoid using the Remembrance, if possible. And here's going to prove whether or not it is possible. It was totally possible. I did not even need to use as many as I did, but it's fine. Maybe I should have been putting points into faith. Can I? Nothing exciting. Oh. Okay, do I have enough health to warrant using two of this? I tested, and that does just result in a full heal. Wait. One of these increases your fire damage. Which would be really valuable to me. For, like, the first time ever. Okay, first let's go here, grab up the levels on things that I need. I say things plural, but I don't think that's the case, because uh, I can't level up me anymore because I missed the uh, smithing stone 8. Oh. I needed six sevens. Well, it's not far behind to this one. I didn't realize how close it was. Okay. Well, not getting levels on anything, I guess. Because I don't have a Ghost Glove Wart 8.
Now, Astol's Remembrance wouldn't happen to give me a torch, would it? It doesn't, no, it, it, it doesn't, it, fuck, it does not. Still nothing new there, yeah. Bastard stars, it's a flail. Oh, I thought it was, like, purely int-based. Seems to be slightly dex-based. The waves of darkness. I believe nothing go up. Um, yeah, that's gonna be useless to me, so I'm gonna eat it. Use the last three of those, even though I don't need to, but it's fine. And drive it up. Okay, so it's only 46 points behind. Man, if I could get that in scaling to be better, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. Okay. So essentially there's going to be three torches that I use throughout this whole run, right? There's going to be steel wire, there's going to be ghost flame, and there's going to be St. Trina's. Because as far as I know, all other torches just deal fire damage. Yep. Sentry's torch? What is the Sentry's torch? Oh, St. Trina's torch actually has a weapon art. And does... Uh, St. Trina's torch does do fire damage. The sentry's torch does not deal fire damage. What? It does. It deals zero f points of fire damage. What? Then why have it? Ah, in Hermit Merchant Shack. Yeah, you know. One. So the Sombers, when equipped, allows the players to see enemies that are normally invisible, allowing the player to lock on to fight them normally. You do not need to... Oh. We use Concealing Veil Talisman. Oh! That's what that talisman does. It does not reveal invisible floors. You do not need to raise the torch. You do not need to be holding the torch for the reveal hidden ability to work. Oh, you don't need to be holding the torch. Okay. Um, that's fairly useless to me. Because its scalings are bad, and barely anything actually goes invisible. Although, what Hermit Merchant Shack? Because this might be a helpful thing to have. Oh, that guy? Was that guy selling a torch and I didn't notice? would seem if so that could be useful for some of the um the like black knife assassin type enemies son of a bitch he's got a torch Okay, but do I really care that much? Might as well, it could be useful. Other than that, what other torches are there? Just so I can, just so I can have acquired all torches. Uh, got it, got it, got it, just got it, got it. St. Trina's Torch is the last one. 
Now, St. Trina's Torch is weird because it's with a traveling caravan. Uh... Hold on. Oh, just hitting things with it causes sleep buildup of 72. That's actually a lot. I don't only ever scale with a C in faith. Good to know. But that 72 sleep could actually be valuable. Okay, 124 physical and 222 fire. That's that's at max. Yeah, that's so much less than this thing just right now. But what about... That one's only at 194. So it's roughly on par with the standard St. Trina's Torch plus 8. That sounds about right, actually. I can use this? I can use this. You know what? What does it do? Oh, that was cool. Yeah, what are some of these int swords that I've never used? Oh, I can't even see it because I don't have the strength. Causes Scarlet Rot buildup. I'm obviously not actually going to be using any of these weapons because they're not torches. Bubble Shower! Alright. Back to business. I can't use two of these torches. Because I'm not strong enough. I'm not strong enough. That's probably, like, gonna be a character trait of mine in my streams, is that I'll occasionally just say things that remind me of song lyrics, and I'll just blurt out the song lyrics. There's an Erd Tree right there. How did I miss that? Now that song is stuck in my head. It's a good song. It was sung by like two different guys. Not like two guys did the vocals for it. I mean two different guys did two different versions of it for the same band. Or you could get off the horse like I'm telling you to. I've literally never fought this thing before. Uh, and you can probably guess why I found it causing fucking light rot or whatever. Okay, cool. What sucks with some of these enemies is it's not really, like, just the enemy that's a problem, but it's the terrain being uneven Am I dead? No, okay. Oh, no. I don't have the talisman that raises my vitality, and I don't know where it is. Well, I know where it is. I don't remember how to get it. 
I don't think that'd even be helpful. It built up so fast. It's my favorite thing in these games when an enemy or boss is just like, here, have an instant death effect. Oh no, I'm... Doesn't have any damage on him and all my buildup is still there. Yeah, so I'm just screwed. And it would have been better if I'd just let myself die. I put this in the just a regular enemy tier. I should have put it in F. This is stupid. Instant death effects are just dumb. Is he comboing that grab? He just, like, spammed that grab. Oh no. thought he was about to go for more death blight. He can hit me from how far away? even build up the meter it just killed me <sighs> and I had no choice but to stay away from him because of the cloud if it was poison I'd have just tanked it but it was a stupid cloud or it was stupid death blight Meaning, if I had stayed anywhere near that, I'd have been dead. I put this tree between me and him. Yeah, so that doesn't one-shot me again. Oh, so did that just build up the meter super fast, or did it actually just instantly give me the rot? No! Do not death blight me, you asshole. Spit me out. Okay. Get out of here. Crimson spill crystal tear and a speckled hard tear. I don't know what those do. Boosts resistance and heal status in mixed physic. Heal static could be useful. Temporary boost max HP in mixed physic. 
That could be useful on something else, probably. Like how much? Slowly over the ages, what the? What the? Would you stop, dude? I don't think either of those are going to be super valuable, but... No, no, no. So I mistakenly put worm face in the just a regular enemy category on my tier list because I had an entire tier that was just labeled just a regular enemy because so many bosses in this game are just regular enemies. Icon shield? What does it do? Gradually restoring the carrier's HP. One of these days, I want to do a run that's just all, like, some kind of HP regen. Just be the tankiest motherfucker. It'd probably end up being, I guess, a faith build. Maybe. Or just go all in on vigor and endurance and just be the ultimate tank. Although I'd have to go in at least a little on strength, it looks like. Yeah, 22. That's not that bad. Although, at the beginning we were talking about my friend, not the beginning of this stream, but the beginning of like all the streams, uh, I had a friend who was talking about uh, I should do like a shields only run. That sounds like a funny item for a build like that. Doesn't sound like the worst idea. What would also be funny with all these HP regen tactics would be poison. Poison would be funny. Alright, I'm gonna die getting whatever this is. Oh good, it's nothing. There's nothing there. Then why are they there? There's a hole in the floor, I guess. It's got something not helpful, probably. Or a teleport. It's not a teleport. It is Wrath of Gold! Let's go! Got a spell I can't use. Oh, good. That guy's not having a good time with the game engine. It is, oh, jeez. It's 9.30 already. Man, these streams go by super fast, it feels like. While I'm not working, I could probably do longer streams, but that's a that's a daunting task. Just because I would get tired so fast. Although I did have the idea of one of these days I want to do take one stream, just a single stream, and do my best to make it through all of Dark Souls. Just, just, just one. Just Dark Souls 1, not the whole series. Okay, but what is this ruin? Um. Because Dark Souls is one of the few games that I'm actually pretty competent at playing. Like, I'm generally not very good at video games. But Dark Souls is different in that regard. Uh, it's just it's just that right there that I went into. So it's nothing. Yeah, it's it's nothing. Cool. Is a trick. Um, currently got this, which is not helping with things. Uh, turtle. Turtle's fine. Um, the turtle is a good, like, I don't have any other, uh, talismans I can be using, so let's use this one. It's a good candidate for that. Because it's helpful... Okay. 
I don't need to be over here. I don't know why I'm still hanging out over here. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Don't need that. Okay. What to do need? Is there anything in deep root depths that I can use? To my knowledge, no. To my knowledge, I can't really use anything there. But... Do I need downstream hermit merchant? Is oh, it's there. Okay. Um, not Stella. Stella. Um. I need those. Ghost glove wart eight. I need. I need at least one of those. Oh, I can't horse. Why can't I horse in there? There's spider jockeys. Why can't I ride a horse? Ant is a horse, right? <laughs> Ant equal horse. It's close enough. It's literally riding an ant. It's close enough to being a horse. Why can't I ride my horse? That's a seven. Uh oh. And I need seven. Well, at least he's not chasing me. That. That right there. That is an eight. Yep. Now it's time to figure out how to get out of here. It's gotta be some kind of way out of here. There's three just in this one stream. Oh, fuck. Bail, bail, bail. <gasps> it's a somber seven. Oh. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah, there's slimes aggroed on me. It'd be funny if I could just... Ow! Close the door behind me. <laughs> No. Oh, what's over here? A smithing stone seven? A six? Dude, you're a little late on those. <laughs> you need to catch up with the program. Um, excuse me. Oh, material. Oh, it's a fucking celestial do. Whoa, the most useful. There's a thing. Thing acquired. Ah, oh, this thing you're guarding, it's mine, suck it. It's just a Smith Things 10 6. Ain't no damn sevens. Ain't no damn one. I wonder if y'all can hear my mom and stepdad watching Breaking Bad downstairs. Because they're late to the program. <laughs> oh, I think my stepdad actually like watched it when it was coming out. My mom is late to the program. Okay. You. Yeah, the fuck else would I be here for? Damn it. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. Alright, time to sell off some shit to this guy. Lay out my arms. What do you want with them? Huh? Temporarily reduces fall damage and sound. Oh! But you can smith it. Craftable item. Yeah. Splitting open roa fruits. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Hello. Okay, so I can sell two of these, four of these, eight of these, five of these, and one of these. Can also sell uh, basically all of these. Still need one of these. I still need one of these. I don't need these. Six, don't need these. Five, don't need these. Four, don't need these. Three, don't need these. Two, don't need these. One, don't need these. Six, uh, grave glove warts in general, don't need them. Fuck them and fuck them. Literally can't use any of those. Oop, oop, yep. Can't use it and can't use it. I can't take advantage of this. Can't cast incantations and can't really equip spells. Okay. There we go. Yeah, at this point, the last thing left to do is try and fight Morgoth. I'm basically as strong as I can. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Hold on. I'm being too hasty. Oh, excuse me. I want to be as well prepped for Morgoth as I can be. Bam. Uh. So earlier my family got Burger King. And I was gonna get myself something else, but I was like, eh, screw it, I'll just I'll just deal with what's here. That was a bad plan. <laughs> Burger King sucks. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> Uh, what was I doing? Right. The Burger King is pure, unadulterated garbage. <laughs> it's literally so bad that it made Robert Downey Jr. turn his life around. <laughs> and that is not a joke, that is a story he tells. <laughs> Which is hilarious. It's so bad that it couldn't even ruin someone's life properly. It had to fix it instead.
Doesn't look like my defenses are any different in this weather condition, whatever it is. Okay. So... There's one roughly there, I think. Uh, there's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, somewhere around there. I think that's it. What is this? It's directly north. This is like Moonfolk Ruins or some nonsense. Yeah, Moonfolk Ruins. Yep, that's what I thought. Also what I thought. I figured there were these fucking disappearing mages here. Or you could pick up the thing that I told you to pick up. A rune arc, whoa. A golden rune, whoa. Jeez. What? Get over here, punk. Fuck. So, I've already, like, determined the idea that I don't think this game is as is quite on par with Dark Souls or Bloodborne, which I don't think speaks to the quality of this game at all, because this game is still really good. It's just Dark Souls and Bloodborne are so good. Oh yeah, there's a dragon that shows up. I forgot about you. Hmm. Me is trying his best. Apparently at some point they nerfed the Mimic tier a little, and I don't know how. It doesn't seem really like the kind of thing you can nerf too much. <laughs> what? This is why, you remember when I was saying how just awesome these dragon fights are? Yeah, things like that are why. Like, what was it doing? Oh yeah, and it's- it- wait, dude, what? And there, I'm pretty sure it's literally leaving the battlefield again. Like, over there, I think the Mimic tier can't exist over there. Because I know I've literally had that problem. With the Mimic Tier despawning because it can't be in the same places as that dragon. The dragons in this game suck so much. They're so bad. They're so bad. Oh, stupid 
rabbit thing. And he's leaving already. Woo. Actually, me, you go fight that. I'm gonna grab this. Good job just taking that directly to the face, me. Hit it in the face. Hit it in the face. Yeah, I'll trade hits with you. Come on. On the one hand, I could imagine, like, how cool the spectacle could be of, like, fighting this beast that uses the entire battlefield. Where'd it go? It teleported. Oh yeah, because it left the fucking battlefield. Now my other friend, I sent my tier list to my other friend who'd been playing this game. Uh, I only had one boss in S tier and it was Astol. And like... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I was assuming that would be a polarizing opinion just because it didn't seem like people cared for him all that much. But I don't know. Uh, and yeah, he just said something about, I'm surprised Astol is your only S tier, and I'm like, yeah, well, I considered giving other things S tier, but they didn't feel like they deserved it. <laughs> like, for the most part, any of, any of the other fights that I really liked were just a little too easy. Like, Renala, Renala was an easy A tier, but like, not quite S, literally just because, she needs a little more health. I think. I think she's a little too frail. Alright, see you later, me. I know there's a bunch of these items around here. I don't need them. They just restore your FP. Okay. So now I'm going to gather the smithing stones that I know are here. I think there are like three eights in one chest. There was one, he keeps uh, vying for Radon. Um, I definitely understand the perspective. I felt very differently about Radon. I, you could see it on stream, and I've said it a couple of times. I just think Radon is, I don't know. Like I said, I understand the perspective that it could be S tier. I wouldn't even like strongly disagree with that. But for me, I just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling that one, because it's like, Definitely 
meant for you to summon a bunch of dudes. It is not meant for you to take him solo. He's just not built that way. And I'm not even talking about the main fight mechanics. Literally, literally speaking, if it was not for the arrow rain, Radon would be higher and I would have fought him solo. But because the arrow rain is damn near impossible to avoid... I've, I've still never fought him solo. Even in this run, I didn't fight him solo just because, you know, I kept saying it, but this he's not really meant for you to fight him solo, so I didn't feel like it was cheating in this run. Yeah, three smithing stone eights, let's go! But I absolutely understand that, oh no, not that guy, not that guy. That guy was an F tier. <laughs> if you couldn't guess. That was an F tier boss all day. I was really like... I was really split about putting Melania in F tier. Because as much as I think that boss fight cheats, I also think there's a lot of... There's a lot of really cool things about that boss fight. I actually don't hate the idea that she heals off of you. I just think she needs to heal less. Because she heals a, a set amount of hit points per hit. It is not per attack. It is per hit. Uh, and that set amount is 300 to 400 hit points. Meaning, you know, when she does, like... A five hit flurry it's not even necessarily a combo because she will straight up just do flurries uh when she does like a five hit flurry she regains 1500 to 2000 hit points back and that is even if you block all of it if you somehow had a great shield and enough stamina to block everything she will still heal somewhere between 1500 and 2000 hit points from hitting your shield. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. But on paper, I don't... I don't hate that she heals off of you. I think that creates an interesting dynamic where it forces you to be aggressive. Or... To be... Or your damage is just going to be outpaced by her heals. So I think that there's a fucking another one. So I think that ends up being more interesting on paper. But what ends up happening, like, in practice, is that <laughs> she just, like, full heals off of a single combo. Meaning all the damage you, you've been dealing to her over the course of the fight means nothing. <laughs> so, literally... Her heals should be based off of... Oh, fucking these guys. Her heals should be based off of a percentage of damage dealt. It should not be set. Because it needs to be interacting with shields. Because no boss needs to just be nullifying a build. Well, a asterisk. Not in such an egregious way. Like, a boss fight being almost immune to bleed makes sense and is fine in a lot of cases because there's still ways for bleed builds to get over it because you still have to deal damage outside of bleed bleed cannot be your only source of damage come on but <laughs> bye but uh, come on what the His horse controls like ass. But like, you know. Now, Melania, not immune to bleed. Not even very resistant to bleed, I don't think. I don't think she literally has much bleed resist at all. I think bleed is a viable strategy. As far as I know. Uh, that said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But last I checked, she's not very resistant to bleed, like, at all. So bleed ends up being a very viable strategy in that scenario. Okay, what is this? That's just a rise, isn't it? That's, that's just one of the basic ones. 
like, um, if you base your build around, there's a particular weapon, uh, the Cypher Pata, I believe it's called, then until late game, Godric will nullify that build. You just deal too little damage for it to be viable in that case. And it's not, you know, that can be with like 40 faith and the thing at plus 3 because it's it's a somber stone uh, weapon so plus 3 is you know, quite a bit of buff on it. But it doesn't matter because Godric is that resistant to holy damage. But at that point, you have other options. Other things can scale with faith even if that's, like, the only thing you've been putting levels into, okay, divert a little bit into arc and rely on, um, dragon incantations or rely on fire. It's still not great, but his fire defense is a lot, significantly less than his, uh, holy defense. So, you know, that's an example of, like, a, a boss that nullifies a build that's not egregious, but basing your build around defense is a, it should be a pretty universal build. That should be something that, you know, you, you can get your way through most of the game with because you're giving up a lot of damage for just an insane amount of endurance and vigor and maybe a little strength so you can use a great shield. Probably a little strength, hopefully. A little strength so you can use a great shield but then Melania will just basically ignore your shield so what does it matter the damage to you the damage dealt is reduced yes that is true but one not by a hundred percent despite being a hundred percent uh, damage resistant because I think her blades just have a little bit of holy damage I don't remember though I don't think a 100 uh, resist shield uh, will actually help in the scenario. I don't know. But I think literally literally there are two things that would make that one of From Software's best boss fights in any uh, in any game. Uh, it is so close, but it is brought down by literally by that healing mechanic being too strong, not the healing mechanic existing in general, but the fact that it's just too much brings it down. And that damned Beyblade attack, whatever it's called, the Swan Dance, I don't remember, something like that, that is ridiculous. It's just with... What needs to happen there is it probably needs to just track less. She needs to be less fast with it. And when I say less fast, I don't mean the actual attacks themselves. What I mean is the thing will catch up with you even if you're all the way across the arena. And it's timed in such a way that the, the bursts last long enough that you can't iframe through them. But, but they're only that long. So, like, it's, it's just long enough. And then she does it three, no, f yeah, three more times. There's the first attack. There's the second attack where she, like, will reel back and then come back in for it. There's the third attack where she just continues it. And then there's the fourth one, which is just the final burst. Um... Literally, that attack paired with the healing makes Melania the worst boss fight. <clears throat> or, well, the second worst. Maybe third. Valiant Gargoyles are arguably could go in between the Foreskin Brothers and Melania, but I, I personally wouldn't hear... Well, I will hear, but I, I harsh disagree with... The, Melania has been very polarizing because people, I've heard people claim that she's like the best boss fight. And where I hard disagree, I also understand because the actual mechanics, the actual flow of the fight is really 
fun. It's very interesting. She, like, honestly, they should have played up the swordsman aspect more so than, well, the healing. <laughs> honestly, if the second phase wasn't attached to it, that'd also be fine. Um, even though, like, the, the Scarlet Rot, to me, has never meant much of anything. Um... But it's also because the winning strategy for me was to attach Shabiri's Woe to my uh, Mimic tier. And just have him tank everything. So the Scarlet Rot never meant much of anything to me. <laughs> okay, this over here is an Everjail, isn't it? What the hell? What? What is that there for? Maybe there's something I need to to look at. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that's there for. But yeah, um, what I was saying was basically because there is so much that could be so good about Melania. It was hard to put that fight in F tier. Oh. You're not gonna turn invisible, are you? I think I also had this guy in the just a normal enemy tier. Which isn't entirely true, but it's pretty close. If I don't beat him here, I don't really want to deal with him. I kind of don't care for this enemy type. Huh. Yeah, okay. Um... Rikard was a weird one because I couldn't determine my feelings on Rikard. I liked the fight, but I I don't really I don't really know how to describe Rikard. It's like Well, for one, it is absolutely them trying to do um Yorm but better. And it is Yorm but better even though I I like Yorm more just because I'm a little partial to DS3. <laughs> um, and I don't know, the fact that you're toppling like an ancient giant warrior is super cool. Um, I don't know anything about Rikard. I don't know who he is. I just know he got eaten by a snake, so obviously, automatically, that means he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Obs. Um. Yeah, I just don't really know how I feel about Rikard. I definitely have more fun fighting Yorm. But I don't know why. I couldn't describe why I like Yorm more to you. It's just a feel it. So it means it probably has something to do with like nostalgia or game bias. Cool. Don't know why I did that, but I did it.
Okay. Um. I can just jump that. It's fine. Oh, that's why I didn't find it earlier. Oh. So anyway. Oh, so I've also determined <laughs> that the way we're going to differentiate me from me is that me is with a capital M and me is with a lowercase m. I hope that was informative and not confusing. <laughs> and if it was confusing, then figure it out, idiots. <laughs> Stupid. Just get good, obvs. Oh, this asshole. Okay. Let's move back to this for a second. Oh, boy. That's not very much damage. Oh, that's actually, that's fine damage. This literally is just the guy I was fighting like 10 seconds ago. I really need to level up. I keep postponing that because I'm paying attention to talking instead of playing the game. <laughs> talking to no one. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. Huh. There's my 30 in. Hmm. I'm going to throw a couple attempts at him. Why not? I'm fairly confident in this one. I never really have too much trouble with Morgot. He's just not really all that difficult. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, I might have to fight him without me for a second. Ow! I guess I also always have me here. Let's let's go for it without me. I don't need to be cheesing every boss. Just because I'm allowed to doesn't mean I should. It's not a cheese, but There's definitely some of these fights that the Mimic tier being there makes, just make possible. Ah. 
Ah, oh, come on. There's a much more interesting fight without the minute tier here. Ah, come on. Uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. God damn. Wasted that immediately. What just happened? What happened? What? Where did that come from? He doesn't seem as resistant to fire as Margit was. That is a way different fight without the Mimic tier. Dick nose, get over here. Lot of moving that time. Just monkey flipping everywhere. <laughs> monkey. Oh, come on. He really hates me for some reason. Me is also probably fucked.
Oh, come on! Why is me one-handing the torch? <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay, what about this one? It is less damage. But it's got that frostbite buildup. And actually, yeah, I've got what I need to level it up again. I should probably do that. Uh, I might not have what I need to do it again. Do it again. Man, why can't I sell off the Furl Calling Finger Remedies? I don't need those. I don't want them. They're, they're wasting space. Ooh. I think, yeah, I think plus 23 this one. Alright, dope. Yeah, the steel wire torch is uh, still a lot stronger, but... Oh, this one's only in one hand. I know this one's going a little long, but... Okay. So, 431 versus 461. But this has some frost buildup, so maybe that'll help. Maybe. Perhaps. M mayhap. Ow. Damn. Oh, I actually don't need that fire torch on anymore. The fire damage talisman. Oh, that's dealing more damage. Oh yeah, he's resistant to fire. Yeah, handle me for a second. Um, let's go with this, I guess. Yeah, that's the best option I can think of. Ooh, there's the frost. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh, damn it. Oh, well. Okay, we're crushing his ass this time, dude. Ooh, okay. This is it. Oh, oh come on. Oh, let's go. Let's get him. Got his worthless ass. I guess I could see the argument that I cheesed that using using the Mimic tier, and seeing how much easier it was with him than without him, I, I, I can almost agree, really. But I don't really care that much about the legitimacy of this run. That's not really important to me. I don't care very much. All that exists without. 
Hold on. That damage buff is a little... It's still good. You know what? No, 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 no. I need to start leveling into Faith so I can use St. Trina's Torch. Okay, so at this point... I could go... I kind of feel like going all in on this thing at this point. I think this thing is... The... Mm. Is... Just the better one to use. Oh, that's right. I had eight sevens. That's right. This thing's plus 23. This thing's plus 22. This one's still a lot more damage, but oh, no, not a lot more. Oh, it was doing a lot more damage because of that talisman. Oh. Oh, so this thing's kind of caught up. Granted, it's one level better, but is there a magic scorpion talisman? Or scorpion charm? There is a magic scorpion charm. Tamed by Perceptors, Selivis the Amber Starlet, after he tells you about his scheme. Oh. Uh, well, I ain't getting that no more. Uh, yeah, I can't get that anymore. <laughs> Rip. Well, that's fine. I don't need to be losing out on defense. So, if that's not actually what I meant to do. If my plan is to kind of go all out on this torch, I kind of also really would like to invest into St. Trina's torch. Um, but for now... I'm going to call the stream here. We've already gone 20 minutes late. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, we're definitely starting to run into the more challenging parts of the game. Uh, well, of the run, really, uh, is what I mean to say. But uh, it's still fun. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings on summoning me at, the, at, at Morgoth. I feel like I could have done it without him, and I feel like... From here on, I'm going to try and do it without me as much as possible. Um, it was definitely not happening with the regular torch, with the steel wire torch. But with that magic torch, that definitely was more feasible. And I could have done it, I'm sure. Given a few tries, because literally I don't think I've ever fought him without a summon. I need to go through the game one of these times just strictly without summons and see how it goes. Um... But yeah, literally zero people tuned into the stream, so thanks for watching the VOD. <laughs> Once again, you'll get tired of hearing me say that, I guess. <sighs> it's just how it do be. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the VOD. Uh, leave a subscribe, leave a like if you want, or don't. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. It's YouTube. Nothing matters. <laughs> Um, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, so I'll see y'all tomorrow night, uh, for more of this. Or possibly Friday. One of those nights I'll be out of town, I haven't decided which, which one. Oh, uh, no, it'll be, I'll be out of town Friday, so yeah. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow, Friday, I won't be streaming. Saturday, we might be streaming more of Brian playing Dark Souls. Um... And then Sunday we'll get back on this. Um, that's the current schedule. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Where is it? There it is.